All righty, sir. First one is going to be a control stop, forward stop. I need you to stop in the three foot box up ahead. You got any questions? Let's do it. This, this is a forward stop. He's going to pull up. I have a line up here. He needs to come up center in the lane. Here's a three foot line. And this is only his second day on the range. Second day on the range. He needs to get any part of his bumper inside this white line over here. So here he comes up center. So you gotta practice, practice. This guy be, you guy nailed this every single time. And there he is, he nailed it. Right in there, his brakes, he's gonna hit his arrow. Uh. All right, sir, good job. You know, pull straight on up. One side, put my hand up, tell you to stop, you stop, and then we're gonna do a straight line back. Understand? Go ahead. Pull forward. I will put my hand up for you to stop. Got it? Do I hit the horn? No. You can just run through this real quick. So he did his control forward stop. He did a good job, got the bumper in. He's gonna pull up. I'm gonna put my hand up and tell him when to stop. As soon as this bumper clears this cone here, I'm gonna put my hand up and tell him to stop. Bingo, stop, put my hand up, he stopped. He's past the cone. Now he's gonna do a straight line back. Okay, you're gonna back up past the last set of cones. Once you clear the last set of cones, set your brakes, put in usual, hit your horn. Let's do it. The last set of cones. He needs to get through the last two set of cones and set his brakes and hit his horn. He doesn't have to be, he can be off to the right or left with the trailer, but he cannot hit any cones. If he comes near a cone, I'll be blowing my horn. I'll have a whistle, I'll blow the whistle and make him stop. And that'll also be an encroachment. But we're not gonna talk that point. We're not, I don't wanna go too many of the rules. I'm just showing you how it's done. So he's doing a good job, give me a good straight line. Pretty good job for the second day on the range. Back there, really good job. I have some good students in this class. They're really doing a great job. There's no get out looks on this. You do get one free pull-off. You can do more, but the one is no points. So it's coming in here nicely. Only had the trailers in the box already. All he has to do is get the tractor without hitting a cone. Get the tractor past the two cones. What you did. Good job, good job. All right, good job, good job. All right. Next one is a forward off tracking. There's a cone up there, also a white line up there. Your job is to pull out without hitting any cones and pull up to the right a little bit and get straight. If there's three cones way up there, I need you straight. Do you have any questions? Let's do it. Let me get on the other side so I can video it from that side. Alrighty, so he's gonna pull up. His job is to get the right trailer tire in between the striped cone and the white line. If he's on the outside line, those are points. If he hits the cone, I'll blow my whistle. If he's ready to hit it, blow the whistle, make him stop. He'll have to back up a little bit and get around that cone. You can see the white line. There's a cone on the, on the behind him. He has to make sure he clears that cone. Now you can see that, that line. He's gonna pull up. Make sure that tire crosses in between the white line or on the white line. He did it. That's it, that's all he needs to do. He pulled a little to the right and he's gonna get back to the left. Back to the left and try to get the tractor and trailer straight. So he also had this cone down here. This cone over here has a cone up here. He's not that straight, if you look at it, he's not that straight. So when you come out of there, I need you to get back to the left and get back straight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back him up a little bit and get him straight, or maybe not. I'll just let him go from here. But you need to come up here straight. See, you got three cones up here. One, 
two, three. This tractor needs to be right on that center cone. That's why you not straight. So let's back it up a little bit and come up forward. Give me a little bit on the left. I'm gonna back him up and then bring him in straight. Before I start the last test, I'm gonna get him straight. Come back to your right, get yourself straight and then pull up. Okay, pull up, pull up. So we're getting him straight before we do this test. like an offset, you're going to give it enough left to get it in and then you'll follow up. If you make any mistakes, I'll stop you and you will talk about it, okay? So where's your first turn? Uh, to the right. To the left. Alright, that's better. And then you almost need to see that middle of the trailer, but your instructors, wherever school you're at, will help you out with this. So he really needs to hard left it, back up until you can see that center of the trailer. Let's go. Now you want to, you can back up a little bit. You rear end near the back cones if you want to. Okay, don't go past the cones. He needs a hard left and he's not doing it. Hard left it. That's good, not bad, not bad. Now he's counter steering, counter steer. He didn't counter steer. Okay. So he didn't counter steer, he didn't hard left it, and this is what he got. It can be fixed. It can be fixed. So where would you, how would you fix this? Pull up to the right. Where? Where are you gonna pull up, sir? Pull forward to the right. To the right and come back center. You wanna try and get this trailer Aiming to the third hash mark or the second hash mark. Let's see if we can do it. But this is okay. This is a student, like I said, the second day on the range. Okay, he has in line, he has the third. Third hash mark. Your job is to get to find the second or third hash mark. You understand? All I want is the tire on the line. So he's going to back up straight. We want a good angle. Remember, we got two striped cones that we need to back up into. If you look there, see those striped cones? Three hash marks. I like to at least be around the second hash mark. So he's backing up straight. He's backing up, coming up to the third. Third cone, good job, that's a good job. And... Okay, see where he is? One, two, that's a good job. Now he needs to bring the trailer in the box. Okay, we're going to turn the wheel. One and a half to the right, okay. Do it, one and a half to the right. I want you to put the landing pad or the tire on the double on the hatch marks. Landing pad or the tire on the hatch marks. job is to look at that trailer because you might have to do a pull-up right now he has it and there he is 
Now he's going to put it in the three foot box. He's going to do a get out and look. He has two. This is the first one. That's his get out and look number one. He's going to check to see if he needs to back up a little bit more or maybe he's in the box. If you practice enough, you get in the box all the time. But use that get out and look. Make sure that you're in the box. Don't assume. Don't say, well, I think I'm in. And then all of a sudden, find out you overshot it or you need to back up another yard. Don't have to back it up this time. What do you want to do now? Get in, pull the horn. Do it. He's going to get in the truck. He's going to blow his horn. So he did a good job there. Use it, get out, look. Make sure that you have completed the test. There it is, test is over. Okay, I hope this helped you. If these videos are helping you out, please subscribe. And we'll be doing some more videos, maybe. Now, I mean, this is darn good for someone on the second day of the range. That's darn good. So, if this test might not be in your area or in your state right now, but it'll be coming, maybe coming, maybe not. Some schools just do alley docking in parallel parks, so I don't know what's going to be coming. So I'm not going to assume, I'm not going to say anything. We'll just take it one step at a time. Thank you for watching.